everybody welcome to today's inspirational pills i'm your favorite host pebbles and i'm excited to meet you today if you are new on this channel i would plead with you to subscribe and to share with your friends hope you've been observing the covid protocols wearing of face mask sanitizing and the use of hand washing soap where the need arises i'm pebbles and I'm an inspirational speaker, a coach, and a teacher by calling. I'm just wondering when we meet God um, in our quiet time or in the cool of the day and God asks us, what has the conquer when eating? I want to restore. And... There is an, a secretary angel by him ready to write down all that you have lost and that he's ready to restore. Would you even recollect everything? You might even leave some out. Now, today's message is What has the canker worm eaten? What has the canker worm eaten? I see God coming with a secretary angel coming to ask you what has the canker worm eating just let me know but scripture has said that he is going to restore whatever the canker worm has eaten maybe this year we are about ending the year but maybe from the beginning till now you may have taken a stock of what you have lost Bible says in the book of Job, Job lost a lot of things in the twinkling of an eye. In the twinkling of an eye, he lost them. And God restored him. He restored him not just what he has lost, but in double fold. Not just what he has lost. Whatever we lose doesn't just we don't just get replenished of what we have lost but god multiplies it god adds something there is an addition for restoration so for restoration you need to expect additions you get it so you might have lost one apple expect two apples you must have lost two apples expect four apples god doesn't just restore you of what you have lost but he multiplies and gives you more what has the canker worm eaten the question still stands maybe you would have to take a notebook or a false cup sheet and write down what you think the canker worm has eaten put it down pray with it and you will be restored. It is worth noting that there is a season of restoration. And so wait for your season of restoration. Because everybody has a season for restoration. Every, there, is, there are times and seasons. Good times, bad times. The good, the bad, the ugly, the sweet, the bitter, the sour. They are all seasons. So a season of restoration, you need to believe that your season of restoration is on the way. Pray for your season of restoration. That God will restore you in its season so that you can receive a multiple. Are you getting it? So do not try to restore what only God can restore in multiples. Another thing worth noting is that another thing worth noting you only get restored when you have lost something and before restore as a way before restore there was a store so you must have there is something in your custody are you getting it there is something in your custody which is which forms part of the stores your stores and for you to be restored of that same thing and so sometimes if it is milk there's an expiry date so that milk has to go for a restore of a milk that will last long longer or with a, a, a lifespan not shorter but of course ha um, with a higher extension of expiry date compared to the other one 
now you have to let go of the milk with a shorter lifespan to be able to get the one with a longer lifespan i don't know if you got it so now if you you hold the milk in your grasp how are you going to receive the restoring the restoration how are you going to receive the restoration if you grasp something so let's say there is a phone and then you have the phone in hand but god is going to restore you and as we've already said, restoration comes in multiple. So for all you know, you are going to receive two phones. But you are holding this one. How are you going to be restored? How are you going to take what is coming your way? So you need to lose something before you can get restoration. So for me, another principle of restoration is that something has to be lost for you to be replenished and restored. Are you getting it? principle of restoration it's like asking god to give you something however your hands are filled with or full of unwanted things things that are unwanted that you need to let go and let god you need to let go and let what god wants you to have so that is another principle of restoration it is unwanted you might think you need it but have you thought of how many times you've even picked that thing up to use it have you wondered how long or how often do you use that thing how important it is in your life well maybe humanly possible or hu for, from your perspective as human you think it's that um it's that important but God has a higher, you know, something of a higher value for you. God has bigger plans. The Bible says his ways and thoughts are higher, just as heaven is higher than the earth. His ways, his thoughts, his plans are higher than our thoughts. They are higher and bigger than our thoughts and our plans and our ways. And so I say this, that God... Let this be your prayer point. God, trust my way and will. I want yours. Father, trust my way and will and give me yours. Because yours is perfect. Yours is glorious. Yours is fantastic. Yours is awesome. Yours is just what I need. I mean, when you go into business, there's something called JIT just in time. So God gives us our needs just in time his needs are just in time so not your time but just in course time so j-i-g-t when you come to our field i mean i'm creating an abbreviation right now j-i-g-t just in god's time so god's the things that god gives us the things that god restores us are j-i-g-t just in god's time not in your time not in pebbles time not in anybody's time but just in time. So another thing you have to know about restoration is that sometimes there is something that you you do not have at all. Now, how how would you even get restored of something you do not have? Because when when it comes when when I don't want to use it. Because I want to introduce Jesus Christ. So when let's say when Jesus Christ comes into your life, He restores things for you. And so the, as I said, you might have something that is going unwholesome, or that has gone unwholesome. Something that is unwholesome and not, needs to leave your life. And sometimes something that you need. You, you might not place hand on it, but you just feel empty. There is this void that, that needs to be restored. And many, many a times people take shield. Many a times people take shield in alcohol, in drugs, especially when there are troubles and the storms are wailing and the storms are, the wind and the waves are stronger and all things cannot be held down and let me tell you this the only one who can speak to that storm the only one who can speak to that wind the only one who can speak to that wave 
it is called. And you need Jesus Christ in your life for that storm to be over. Are you getting it? And so sometimes you feel there's a missing link. There's a vacuum. It is only Jesus Christ who can fill that vacuum. It is him who can fill that void. For in him there is no syllable empty or void. As the musician or the singer said. There is nothing in God that is void or empty. For even as he speaks. Billions of galaxies are born and creatures catch his breath. So will I. That's the, that's the song title. You can go and listen to it. It's an amazing song. It is an amazing song. And it's been dawning on my heart and the words are just refreshing day in and day out. Go and listen to So Will I by Hillsong and be blessed. Our greatest shield is the Lord. David said something in Psalms. He said that the Lord is my shield my glory and the lifter of my head do you know what it means for god to be your shield do you want, know what it means for the elohim to be your shield do you know do you know the characteristics of shelter you receive warmth when when the rains come it wouldn't hit you I mean, you, you, there, there is a kind of a comfort and a comfortable um, shield or shelter. Bible says, whoever that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under his shadows, under the shadows of the Almighty. And so, for God to be your shield, you need, you need to take your shield in God. And so, Whenever there are these troubles, these waters, the Bible says, if you, if, even if you go through difficulty, rivers of di difficulty, rivers of difficulty, just as the NLT says, when you go through rivers of difficulty, he's already in with you in the trouble. So there is no need to take shield in alcohol or drugs. Are you getting it? He's already your shield. So when the troubles come, he's already with you. So you, there is no need to take a shield anywhere and if God should be your glory hallelujah he is your glory no matter what you are going to shine no matter what his glory will be seen in your life as a child of God and people will see you and glorify God many a times people say that there is something about Christians that they can't place hand on yes it is the presence of the Holy Spirit because Jesus Christ, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they live inside of you and they direct your path and order your steps. And so there is something about you that people cannot place hand on. That is the glory of the Lord in your life, which is the presence of God. I recommend Jesus Christ to you. I recommend Jesus Christ to you. He is the only way, as the scripture has said, the truth and the life. Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth and the life. There is, that means there are other truths. Are you getting it? There are other truths, but he is the truth. There are other ways, but he is the way. When we say the, we can say a way. Or a, but when you say the way, there are other ways, but he is the way. There are other truths, but he is the truth. There are other lives, but he is the life. Are you getting it? They could have said a way, a truth, and that means there are other possibilities. But when they say the way, the truth, and the life... Hi everybody, I'm Pebbles and I'm an inspirational speaker, a coach and a teacher by calling and I'm from Ghana. I hope you were blessed by today's message. Don't forget to subscribe to our channels Win the Soul Foundation and Inspirational Pills TV all on YouTube. 
if you like the message you can smash the like button and you can also comment let's know your comment on the messages and we are so excited to meet you and to talk to you remember you are a royal priesthood a holy nation and a person chosen by god